seeing some activity at the Upper Truckee River Fish Collection Station. And the Upper Truckee, of course, the largest tributary of Tahoe, they had a fish trap set there from about 1922 to 1942. And fish moving upstream from Tahoe could be collected and spawned and the eggs taken and raised at the Tahoe Hatchery. They would uh, go in with their dip nets and take out these lovely fish from three to 10 pounds and sort them out, separate the males from the females. And if they're ripe, they have to take eggs and spawn the fish. There they are taking scales because they wanted to know how old these fish are and determine their rate of growth. There he is checking to see if they're ripe or not. The eggs are placed in the pans like that and the milk is added and it's stirred so that fertilization can take place. At that point, these eggs are called water-hardened eggs, and you can transport them safely to a hatchery. The hatchery here could hold about three million eggs. There were 64 troughs. The water was pumped in from the outside stream, so they had a natural cold water source and then it was allowed to overflow into the troughs and back out to the stream channel. It was quite a beehive here of activity. Those are eggs that are placed in the metal baskets. They'll stay there for about 50 days at 50 degrees, and after they hatch, they're called alevins, and the alevins still have the yolk sac attached. As they continue to grow, they absorb the yolk sac. They use that for their nutrients in the early part of life. The fry would drop through the hanging baskets and go right into the trough. And then they become free swimming fish. At this point, they are fed a really fine grained fish chow and they are raised on that until they got large enough, usually around the length of your finger, hence the name fingerlings. They're cute little rascals. That tail is going all the time. It's a lot of work to keep all those little fry fed and in good condition until they can be stopped. Mm -hmm. 